Never in a million years did I think that a bike fit would change my cycling forever, but it did. I also learned seven valuable lessons that aren't often explained in bike fit videos, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. I recently started a poll asking how many of you have had a bike fit, and 74% have not had a bike fit, even though it's possibly one of the best upgrades you can do. Number one, it is hard to fit yourself. Yes, you can do it, but you need to have a good two-way dialogue with yourself. Yeah, my seat's about the right height. Are you sure? It, it could be a little bit lower. My reach is perfect. To be honest, mate, you look like you're being stretched out on a rack. So having someone external who is objective and comes with an experienced mindset is gonna bring a different angle to what you perceive to be correct. Now, a familiar position will feel correct to you and removing that feeling is hard to do by yourself. Getting someone to look at your position, your friend, your colleague, your nan will help. The second set of eyes will help change your perspective and help you try something different. Now, a good practical example of this from my bike fit is the saddle height. Now, in total, it dropped by a total of 14 millimeters. That's a long way from the position that I thought was correct for three years. I probably should have moved it down a bit sooner, but you know, we live and learn. Number two, small changes have a big impact and make a big difference. A little definitely does go a long way with bike fit. Now, before I went for my fit, I thought, we'd be changing things massively. But to be honest, to get the position truly dialed in, we're talking about millimeters here and there during the final refinement. Whoa, 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 whoa. What that means is it is really easy to think that you have things correct because changing something by five mil isn't gonna make that much of a difference, right? Well, boy, was I wrong. Now, a small tweak here and there will make a big difference. So if you are trying to get a good position on your bike, keep that in mind. Refine, refine, refine until you and your machine are in perfect synergy. Because everything is interconnected in this geometry web that we call a bike, a small change to saddle height will affect many other factors like your reach and your saddle setback. And that is why things are adjusted in synergy and understanding how things are interconnected will help you feel like you're sitting on a sofa, not a narrow seat. The practical example from my fit was the cleat position. Now the angle could be changed literally two millimeters and that was a difference between it feeling perfect or straining my knee slightly. So very finite adjustments make the world of difference. Number three, new parts. It is time for an upgrade, my friends. Let's say you go for your bike fit and you realize you've been set up like you've been riding a penny farthing all these years. You are gonna need some new parts to make your bike fit you. For example, if your reach is too long, you may need to reduce the length of your bars or your stem or both. If your shoes aren't allowing the correct cleat position, it may be time for some new dancing shoes. Worst case scenario, let's say your bike is too big or too small and you need a new bike. Then you have an excuse to buy a new bike, so don't be disappointed, be happy. Unless it's a 12,000 pound Pinarello F12, in that case, be sad. Be very, very sad. For me, this meant changing my bars, so I got away pretty lightly, which allowed me to take one centimeter off the reach of my bike, as the bars that I had had a one centimeter larger reach. The new bars were also narrower at 38 centimeters, so I killed two birds with one stone. I also got new cleats straight away, because mine were beaten up and they needed to be moved and adjusted for the bit anyway. They literally looked like I'd been running a marathon in them. Now this all comes at an extra cost, but think of it as a chance to upgrade while finding the perfect position. Any excuse to buy some new bike parts, right? Number four, spinning like the clappers. Now this was probably one of the biggest takeaways for me and something that I hadn't even considered how changing my bike position was going to improve my overall efficiency on the bike. Probably should have thought about that. And that affects your speed, your endurance, your power delivery, etc. And yes, I had it in my mind that I would feel more comfortable like I was sitting on the sofa, but I didn't think it would affect my cadence in the way that it did. When I started my bike fit, Romain asked me what my bike was used for and at what average power I hold whilst using my bike. Now on a four hour ride, I'd average around 160 watts more or less, hopefully more. 
The turbo trainer remain used during the bike fit was then set to the 160 watts because the bike fit is for the scenario. If it was a race bike, for example, this may be more like 300 watts. Now at the start, to maintain 160 watts, my cadence was around 75 RPM. This was consistent over a period of time and I know from riding on the turbo trainer for years that this is correct. Then as I got more comfortable throughout my session, my cadence was increasing all the way up to 85 RPM by the end of the session at 160 watts still. So there's a total increase in my cadence by 10 RPM from the bike fit, which I found totally crazy and I didn't expect at all. Now my pedal stroke was also much smoother than when I started. Number five, familiarity is the enemy. One thing that we are as humans is adaptable. We can adapt in many different ways, some absolutely genius. So I'm not so genius. But the truth be told, human's ability to adapt is instinctual and will happen naturally without you even knowing. And this is true for bike fit. If you ride a bike, like I did, for years in the wrong position, you will adapt and not only will you adapt, your body will become familiar with this position and will feel like it's correct. But one thing that I noticed, the pain that I felt on the bike has reduced over time. When I first got on the road bike, I felt a little wrist pain, neck pain, knee pain. I changed my position and eradicated some of those issues. The others, my body adapted to. I mentioned proprioception in my in-depth bike fit video going over the full session, but it's also relevant here. It's basically the thing that allows you to perceive your body is in the correct position and whether or not that feels right or wrong, like a sixth sense essentially. Imagine you leave your bike in a room and someone completely adjusts it and you don't know what's changed. They may not even change anything. If this is done five times on the fifth time, you won't have any idea what your original position was. And that's what you were trying to break, that familiarity. So from my bike fit, I learned that because something is familiar, it doesn't mean it's right. Number six, after your bike fit, it's gonna take you some time to get used to your new position. Remain said to me that I should allow three weeks to adapt, and I can understand why. If we go back to the familiarity point previously, then allowing yourself time to get used to the new position only makes sense. Even for me, it felt different at first. My brain was thinking, is this correct? Is this right? Is this good? Then you get into your rhythm, you realize the pedal stroke is more efficient and everything just clicks. Now for me, it was on my third ride after the fit. It really clicked for me and I just felt so much better overall on the bike. Number seven, comfort is fast, could not be more true regardless of what type of riding you are doing. Just think about a time you've been in pain and you tried to push through that pain. Now, that's a highly exaggerated sample of what a poor position on the bike feels like. Your muscles are working hard to support the uncomfortable position rather than being used to pedal and propel yourself to the front of the peloton. I personally find it easier to sustain higher power for longer now due to feeling more comfortable in my position. She treats me well, the old girl. As I said at the start, 74% of people haven't had a bike fit from my poll. If you would like to see my full bike fit video, my full bike fit process and learn how you could be more comfortable, give this video a watch next. You may be able to learn from my mistakes.